In America, we have a ticking time bomb that threatens the financial stability of millions. As the baby boomer generation transitions into retirement, they face a landscape vastly different from that of their parents, marked by dwindling pensions, volatile markets, and the escalating costs of health care and long-term care. This retirement crisis is exacerbated by a lack of savings, with many Americans finding themselves ill-prepared for the financial demands of retirement. But how did we get here? Before we get started, don't forget to like this video so we can continue to make content you enjoy. Did you know that retirement wasn't always a guaranteed sunset period filled with leisure and relaxation? In ancient civilizations, the concept of retirement was virtually non-existent. People worked until they physically couldn't, relying on their families for support in their old age. It wasn't about choosing to stop work, it was about work stopping you. This era reflects a time when life expectancy was low, and the idea of saving for a non-working period was impractical for most. Fast forward to the 19th century, and you'll find the roots of the modern retirement system taking shape. Germany, under Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, became the pioneer of retirement benefits, introducing a government-run program for older workers in 1889. This groundbreaking move was initially designed to address youth unemployment, by encouraging older workers to make way for the younger generation. It set a retirement age at 70, which was later lowered to 65, despite the average life expectancy being much lower. The concept of retirement began to spread globally, but it wasn't until the 20th century that it became a widespread expectation. The introduction of the Social Security Act in 1935 by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in the United States marked a significant milestone. This act aimed to provide financial security for the elderly, fundamentally changing the societal view of retirement. It established an official retirement age and promised financial support for those who had spent their lives working. The post-World War II era saw a boom in retirement planning with the creation of pension plans and retirement savings accounts. Companies began to offer pensions as a way to attract and retain employees, further entrenching the idea of retirement into the workforce culture. This period also saw the rise of the financial services industry, which offered products and strategies to help individuals save for retirement, making the dream of a comfortable retirement more accessible to the average worker. Today, retirement is often viewed as a deserved rest after decades of labor, a time for personal fulfillment, travel, and hobbies. However, the landscape is changing. With increasing life expectancies and shifting economic conditions, the traditional age of retirement is being re-evaluated. Many are choosing to work beyond the traditional retirement age, either out of necessity or a desire to stay active and engaged. Now that we have an idea on the history of retirement, where are we at now as a society? Why are 80% of American households with older adults facing a retirement crisis? And what can be done to address this growing concern? Today's retirees are navigating a vastly different landscape than their predecessors, with traditional retirement income sources undergoing significant changes. The National Council on Aging NCOA, in collaboration with the Leading Age LTSS Center R of UMass Boston, has shed light on the severity of this issue, revealing that an astounding 80% of older adult households are either currently struggling financially or are at risk of economic insecurity as they age. This equates to 47 million households facing the daunting challenge of affording their basic living needs, let alone unexpected financial shocks such as long-term care needs, health issues, or loss of income due to divorce or widowhood. The analysis highlights a stark reality. Despite a preference among older adults to age in place, 60% would not be able to afford even two years of in-home long-term services and supports. Furthermore, 45% of individuals aged 60 and older have household incomes below the elder index value for their geography, indicating that their average income falls short of what is needed to cover basic living expenses. The financial insecurity plaguing retirees is exacerbated by several factors, including inflation, rising health care costs, and the likelihood of needing long-term care services at some point. With someone turning 65 today, facing almost a 70% chance of requiring such services. Unfortunately, long-term care is expensive and not covered by Medicare, placing an additional financial burden on retirees. To combat these challenges, the NCOA, Leading Age LTSS Center, AUMass Boston, and Nationwide 
have proposed four strategies aimed at helping retirees stretch their financial resources further. The study revealed that the bottom 20% of older adults, a cohort of approximately 8 million households with a median income of $16,800, have no assets. In fact, some are in debt. These individuals are currently facing economic insecurity and matters will only get worse as they age because many will need long-term care. As far as solutions, researchers suggested the following. One, enrolling eligible individuals into state and federal programs as eligible older adults leave. $30 billion in benefits unused each year, so check out your local programs to help retires. Two, educate individuals about the best time to file for Social Security as 49% of pre-retirees underestimate their life expectancy by five plus years. You do get an 8% increase in Social Security by waiting every year until age 70. This can be dramatic if you live a long life. Three, improve long-term care coverage as today's 65-year-old has a 70% chance of needing some type of long-term care. Four, empower homeowners to leverage their home equity wisely as home equity represents. 60% to 80% of most older homeowners' total net worth. Reverse mortgages may be other options for retirees in need. The retirement crisis facing a significant portion of the American population is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach to resolve. By implementing targeted strategies to support financial stability among older adults, it is possible to mitigate the risks of economic insecurity and improve the quality of life for retirees. So we know the problem, but what are some ways to potentially fix it? Let's see now. To address the retirement crisis in America, experts propose several innovative solutions aimed at strengthening the financial security of future retirees from a macro perspective. One key approach is to enhance Social Security, the backbone of retirement income for many Americans. Experts like Sarah Newcomb of Morningstar suggest expanding Social Security by increasing contributions from every paycheck, ensuring that workers have a more substantial safety net in their later years. This expansion could alleviate financial stress and potentially boost worker productivity by reducing health care costs and lost productivity associated with financial insecurity. But is Social Security properly funded? Is Social Security on the brink of depletion? And what does this mean for future retirees? For decades, Social Security has been a cornerstone of retirement planning, providing vital income to millions of retirees. In 2020, approximately 50 million retired workers depended on these benefits. However, the 2022 Social Security Trustees Report casts a shadow over this reliance, predicting that by 2034, the program will only be able to disperse 77% of the promised benefits if Congress does not address the funding shortfall. This looming reduction is attributed to a long-term financing issue, where the ratio of workers contributing to the system versus beneficiaries receiving payouts is declining, primarily due to demographic shifts such as the post-World War II baby boom and a decrease in birth rates. Social Security is funded through payroll taxes, with current workers' contributions directly supporting current retirees. This system is under strain as the number of beneficiaries is set to increase, outpacing the contributions from a smaller workforce. The program's reserves, once sufficient to cover these imbalances, are projected to be depleted by 2034, leading to a significant cut in benefits unless legislative action is taken. This scenario underscores the importance of Social Security not just as a supplementary income, but as a critical support for many who rely on it as their primary or sole source of income in retirement. To safeguard the future of Social Security, Congress faces two primary options, cut benefits or increase tax revenue. Past solutions have included raising the retirement age and taxing Social Security benefits, but more drastic measures may be necessary to ensure the program's solvency. The challenge lies in garnering the political will to enact these changes with the need for bipartisan support in a landscape where long-term planning often takes a back seat to immediate concerns. The Transamerica Center for Retirement Studies emphasizes the need to shore up the finances of the Social Security Trust Fund to prevent its depletion and ensure that benefits do not decrease, advocating for a bipartisan approach to protect vulnerable populations and those at risk of falling into poverty. Improving existing retirement accounts is another critical strategy for mitigating the retirement crisis. Alicia Munnell of the Center for Retirement Research at Boston College advocates for federal legislation to ensure every American has access to an individual retirement account, IRA through their job, promoting automatic enrollment in either employer-administered plans or government-administered IRA plans. Michael Guillemet of Texas Tech 
suggests making auto-enrollment more aggressive with a default contribution rate of 10% and default investment in a target date fund for new hires. Christine Benz of Morningstar proposes adjusting contribution limits to make them equal across different types of retirement plans, providing a more equitable avenue for retirement savings regardless of an individual's employment situation. Strengthening financial education forms the third pillar of addressing the retirement crisis. Experts argue that developing good financial habits early on is crucial for securing a comfortable retirement. John Boroff of Fidelity emphasizes the importance of teaching the power of compound interest and the impact of saving early, highlighting how a small change in savings behavior can significantly affect one's financial future. This approach, focusing on information and action, suggests that the ingredients for a secure retirement already exist but need to be utilized more effectively by individuals. By prioritizing financial education and encouraging early and consistent savings, we can empower individuals to take control of their retirement planning and mitigate the retirement crisis. That's all great, but as a person, what can I do to prepare to be in retirement? Or if I am in retirement already, what do I need to do? To prepare for retirement and sidestep potential financial crises, there are several proactive steps you can take to ensure a more secure financial future. First, it's crucial to build a robust savings plan. If your employer offers a retirement plan like a 401k or 403b with matching contributions, maximize your savings to benefit fully from the match. For those without an employer-sponsored plan, contributing to an individual retirement account IRA is a wise choice. Additionally, avoiding risky investments in favor of more consistent saving strategies can help build a more stable retirement fund. Reducing debt is another essential strategy for securing your financial future. Prioritize paying down high interest consumer debt and mortgages as soon as possible. Being debt free or having minimal debt by the time you retire will free up more of your income to cover unexpected expenses and reduce financial stress during retirement. Moreover, maintaining a balanced investment portfolio is K. Ensure you have a reasonable percentage of stocks in your portfolio to balance the risk of running out of money with the potential for growth. Adjusting your investment strategy as you near retirement can help protect your savings from market volatility. In the event of a financial crisis during retirement, there are immediate steps you can take to mitigate the impact. Cutting back on non-essential expenses, such as entertainment and dining out, can help conserve funds. Consider making more significant changes if necessary, such as refinancing your mortgage for a lower interest rate selling assets like cars or property to reduce expenses, or temporarily suspending retirement contributions. Downsizing your home or switching to less expensive insurance options can also provide financial relief. These strategies, combined with a focus on reducing debt and smart saving and investment decisions, can help you navigate the challenges of retirement and avoid a financial crisis. Okay, I have the basics, but what is out there to help me prepare? What online tools are available for me to prepare? or when I am in retirement. In today's digital age, retirees have access to a plethora of practical online tools designed to simplify retirement planning and enhance financial security. Titan's Retirement Calculator, for instance, offers a free user-friendly platform that projects future retirement savings based on current strategies, helping users understand how much they'll need when they retire. The Charles Schwab Retirement Calculator and Fidelity's Retirement Score provide personalized assessments of retirement readiness, suggesting adjustments to ensure financial goals are met. Personal Capital's Retirement Planner goes a step further by considering the impact of major life expenses on retirement savings, offering a comprehensive view of financial health. Stash Retirement Calculator simplifies the process with a straightforward approach, providing actionable tips for staying on track, while Vanguard's Retirement Nest Egg Calculator focuses on the longevity of retirement savings, offering insights into investment growth over time. For those seeking a detailed plan, the Complete Retirement Planner offers an in-depth analysis, accounting for various income sources, expenses, and healthcare costs. These tools democratize access to financial planning, making it easier for retirees to navigate their financial future with confidence and clarity. See links in the
the description if you want to access any of these calculators now. Retiring in America, despite its challenges, remains a period of life rich with opportunities for growth, relaxation, and fulfillment. The landscape of retirement is evolving, offering more resources, tools, and strategies than ever before to ensure a secure and enjoyable retirement. Innovations in financial planning, healthcare, and community support empower individuals to navigate their golden years with confidence. But now that I am equipped with knowledge on the crisis in America and how I can be prepared for it, how much money do I actually need to retire? Well, we are glad you asked. See our video on the very question on how much money you need to retire right now. Remember, this is not financial advice. Withdrawal, investing insights, signing off.